I'm trying to read this report. Now, you went to the doctor yesterday. Yes. Now, first of the story was several nights ago, they wheeled you in because you couldn't walk without the wheelchair. They wheeled you in. You sat about the third row from the back. Yep. There's her son back there crying, praising God over it. She was sitting right back here, and she was in the wheelchair. That's right. Diagnosed with cancer, female places, and you had reached a place where you could not walk. Just tell us. I couldn't take more than just two or three steps, and I would be in excruciating pain. And I'd been that way for several months. And my son had to do everything in the house. I couldn't really do anything. He had to cook and do, do it all. He had to cook, clean house. Uh, some, and part of the time, he was getting stuff for me. Uh, I just couldn't do it. And then Sunday night when I came, in fact, I'll tell you something I didn't say the other night. I was on 60 milligrams of morphine a day and- 60 milligrams of morphine. My God. And on- uh, Think about that kind of pain. When, uh, when the pain would break through with the morphine, I was taking 500 milligrams of Vicodin. Oh God. Wow. And uh, so, but God, touched me last Sunday night, that was when the real, real change came. Hallelujah! Amen! And there has been improvement every single day. First of all, I, you got out, jumped out of the wheelchair and started running praising God. And then I jumped in the wheelchair and I said, push me back here. And you were going about 20 miles an hour. Amen. No way I could have done that before. And I went to the doctor yesterday. Get this. His report said in the last two weeks you have made exceedingly exceptional progress. And I didn't tell him what was going on. I don't think he would have believed anything. But his nurse, I'm pretty sure, is spirit-filled, and I told her, we were standing in the middle of the hall, she threw up her hands and says, praise the Lord. <laughs> so, uh, you know, God is able, but we have to trust Him. We have to come expecting. Work it. And, you know, we can't just sit and not do anything. In fact, I tried to come out of the wheelchair before he wanted me to. Come on. Because I came in here expecting it. Because I have felt the power of God. Come on. So, and if you'll come in here expecting, there's no telling what God will do. It's up to you with your faith and what you want to believe. This night that God healed you, and brought you out of the wheelchair. You said you were ready. You were trying to get up even before I told you it's time to get up because you was already expecting a miracle. Yes. Now that's the kind of faith that's going to get you a miracle Amen. here tonight. All right, all right. You say, well, it was Amen. it was because of Prophet Jerry Lee being here. No, this no. was this healing came from God, yes. number one. But God has a perfect time Amen. and a perfect place and a perfect vessel Amen. that He'll send to work through. Amen. Just spark that faith. It was already Amen. there. It was already that faith was already working. You're ready to get up right then. But at the exact moment, it happened. Amen. And I'll tell you what, after I preached and prophesied, I was so drained that night I got in that wheelchair and made somebody wheel me out the back door and it was, <laughs> Well, she didn't need it. I might as well enjoy it, right? Amen. Amen. But I'm so happy for you. And I'm Amen. happy for your son. And I'm happy for, for these grandsons. Yes, amen. And I believe amen. every person that you love and Hallelujah. care for. I honestly believe, I pray this, I pray this probably. I pray every one of them, you live long enough to see every one of them filled with yes, the Holy sir. Ghost. Yes. And there's some of them that's called to do what I'm doing too. Yes. <laughs> And I believe you're going to see God working miracles through their hands, just like God Amen. worked a miracle through Jesus. And I love it.